it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Lucius Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind, so please like, share, and subscribe. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as long as it may be presenting to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we're going to get started. Okay, I hope y'all are doing well and feeling well. So the first card you have here is the Hermit, okay? Um, you could be someone who's an introvert. If you're not particularly an introvert or, you know, naturally antisocial or anything like that, you could just kind of be to yourself by yourself, okay? Spending some quality time alone, maybe, okay? You could be isolated or in solitude um, in some type of way. You've gone within, you're doing a lot of thinking or what have you. Possibly you could even be contemplating... Um, about some type of leap of faith that you want to take with the full card here, okay? Um, somebody has gone within and is thinking very hard about taking a leap of faith towards something or someone, okay? Make sure that you are very clear on how you want to move forward on what it is that you want to do with this full card here, okay? Just don't be, you know, don't blindly take a leap of faith, okay? It's good to take leaps of faith sometimes, but but know um, what you're leading yourself into, okay, when you take a certain leaps of faith here, okay? But I see, I feel like you are clear in your thought. Okay, because you, you're you in this hermit energy. You've gone within to think about something before taking this leap of faith, okay? So let's see what else is going on here, guys. Sir, please clarify. So we have the Ace of Swords here, okay? As well as the Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Swords talks about truth. It talks about clarity. It can even speak to victories, okay? Um, this sort of truth can kind of, you know, it cuts to the truth of the matter of a situation here, okay? So, I feel like you have gone within, okay? You've been contemplating going back and forth, um, possibly, to yourself about taking a leap of faith in, in, in possibly telling somebody some type of truth or clarity pertaining to something here, okay? I feel like there's a lot of feelings, there's a lot of emotions, okay, behind whatever this truth or clarity is with this Ace of Cups here, okay? But somebody wants to take a leap of faith towards someone, okay? To give them some type of truth or clarity here, I just feel like... Um, there, there will be some extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions pertaining to this truth or clarity here. Yeah, because we have the devil here. Okay. Possibly telling somebody the truth about something would cause them to feel overwhelming emotions, extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions here. Um, with this devil being here, Usually the devil can talk about something sinister, something dark, something evil, something wicked here, okay? Um, <clears throat> it can talk about uh, demonic attachments or strongholds. It can talk about temptations, toxicities, addictions, bad habits, addictive patterns of behavior here. Let's see what else is happening here. Sphere, why is the hermit here? So we have the five of coins here, okay? Somebody somebody has been neglected or abandoned or left out in the cold, left with a lack of finances, money, and resources in need of assistance or help or, okay? We also have the knight of coins here. This could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo individual male or female who is thinking about taking some type of leap of faith in some way
Yeah, this person may want to, I feel like you may, this truth or clarity has something to do with the King of Swords here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Masculine. I feel like whatever this person wants to tell you about this person may have you in your feelings and emotions. Yeah, it may break your heart in some type of way with the three of swords here, uh, which talks about heartache, heartbreak, sadness, loss, misery. Spirit, clarify the devil. We have the three of cups here. So this devil here, uh, coupled with this three of cups here, this may have something to do with some type of third party situation. Somebody, this earth sign may want to, somebody has really contemplated, somebody has gone within and really thought about taking a leap of faith to tell somebody the truth. But I feel like this truth may hurt them, may break their heart. I feel like this person may have had some type of third party uh, relationship with this King of Swords here. This 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 Earth sign and this uh, Air sign may have had some type of relations together here, because we got the Three of Swords with the Three of Cups. This may cause you some extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions pertaining to the situation here. We're going to get some further clarification for the situation. Yeah, this, this may cause a major tower. We got the tower at the bottom of the day. So this talks about chaos, tragedies, disruptions, deceptions, distractions, Okay, this could be problems of any kind, but it's a sudden upheaval happening all of a sudden out the blue. Okay. Okay, guys, so let's see what's going on here. Spirit, clarify the hermit in the five of coins. Somebody, somebody partook in some type of theft here. I also see poverty here, though. Someone could be in poverty. Somebody partook in some type of theft that has something to do with... Uh, some type of legal situation here, court matter, legal matter here. So we're clarify the, uh, the fool and the knight of coins. The fool and the knight of coins. Wow. So we're clarify the fool and the knight of coins. This is a feminine energy. I'm seeing a feminine here. Somebody did something for some money here because they were in poverty. This person was wearing a mask. They're not who they appear to be. This person is very fake, phony, fraudulent, untrue here. This could be someone who um, was close to you, a friend of yours or something here. Something has been concerning them, weighing heavy on their mind. Spirit, clarify the Ace of Swords. And the King of Swords. Ace of Swords, King of Swords. I keep seeing the Lovers card as well. I feel like these two were lovers. Perhaps, perhaps they was involved with each other intimately, sexually in some type of way. <laughs> um, Spirit, clarify. Clarify this Ace of Swords, King of Swords. Mm -hmm. okay. 
So somebody is like concerned about a message of concern, okay? So this person is concerned about telling you some type of truth or clarity pertaining to this king of swords here, okay? It's like they want to relay you some type of message of concern, but it's like it's going to break your heart in some type of way. It has to do with like a lover situation, a third party situation. Perhaps this is somebody that you were in a relationship with, or maybe this was a friend of yours or something. But Spirit is saying they're a false person. This person, this person did something for money. Spirit, clarify this, this, per, clarify this poverty and false person. So something has to do with some type of unexpected income here. This person was given something. Cross person concern spirit. Yeah, this person, this air sign person could be in your family with the family room here. Somebody in your family paid this person. So you clarify concern and message of concern. So I keep seeing the main female here. So whoever this earth sign is, is a feminine energy. So we clarify a message of concern in lovers. There was also something that took place. I keep seeing thief. I keep seeing thief here. Thief, judication, despair. What the hell? What is this concern and message of concern? I keep seeing a thief here. Whatever this person partook in, whatever this person was paid for or was given was done in an effort to like steal something from you, take something from you. Something has to do with thief here. As well do I see death. Unexpected income, family room, thief, and the coffin card here. Wow. Mm-mm. That's sad. Okay, so um yeah, we got service here. This person was working for someone, helping someone, doing a job for someone. This person was paid to to work against you, perhaps. Now this person, this person has been in despair over this situation. This false person who wants to take this leap of faith, this earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo here. They want to tell you the truth about a situation here. Wow. We got pleasure seekers here. Pleasure seekers do shit for their own amusement, their own enjoyment, their own liking, ill will, desire here. Thief, yet again. So there was definitely some type of theft that was taking place. Like something was done in an effort to steal something from you. Foe. It's an enemy, it's an opponent. We got falseness at the bottom of the deck. So this person is definitely a false person, faithfully fraudulent, untrue. This person could have done something to pur purposely cause some type of misfortune to you, something that has something to do with some type of gift. Oh, goodness. This is sad.
Spirit, clarify the hermit and the five of coins here. So something was done behind the scenes, behind closed doors, in the shadows. Something that was done. This person did something behind your back. Okay? This person was tempted. They could have been persuaded. They could have been bribed. They could have been tripped, tricked. Okay? But this person fell into temptation here. Okay? This could be lustful temptations and desires. Or this could be... Um, for the purposes of money, whatever this temptation was, this is equivalent to seeing the devil card here. Temptations, addictions, addictive patterns of behavior, bad habits, um, toxicity, okay? Demonic strong calls here, okay? So we clarify the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. Ace of Swords, King of Swords. <laughs> so we got passion ignited here. Wow. <laughs> so we're clarifying by the Ace of Cups, the Three of Swords. Sacrifice. Somebody sacrificed someone? Or someone was part of a sacrifice? So we're clarifying the Devil and the Three of Cups. So we have conflict and defeat here. So this sacrifice has caused some type of conflict, has caused some type of defeat here. It's like somebody is in despair with keeping something away from you. We got disruption and heartache and loss at the bottom of the deck here. So something was done in the shadows, like behind the scenes, behind closed doors that tempted this person. Some type of passion was ignited within this person and, you know, maybe between these two people with temptation and passion ignited. Something sexually may have happened between them. This could have been... Um, This could have been a part of the bribe, a part of, this could have been some type of sexual initiation here or something, but this person did something for money here, okay? There was also like an agreement of something else. It wasn't just this, these two having sex with one another and this person getting money from it. Like this person went along, like worked with this person to like work against you in some type of way in, in an effort to steal something from you. So this person is like in hermit mode. They've been in solitude. They've been going within thinking. They want to take some type of leap of faith to come and tell you some type of truth or clarity. But it's going to cause extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions because of this double energy here. Because it's so toxic. It's so demonic. It's so evil. It's so wicked. Okay. You could have even been the one who was abandoned, neglected, left out in the cold, um, left in lack, in need um, of assistance here. You could have been left out by this earth sign, by an air sign as well. Okay, this could have caused you some type of heartache or heartbreak here. I do feel like there was a loss of life here of someone here. But this person was a sacrifice. This other person could have been a part of this sacrifice. And sacrificing this person or setting them up or however that went down here, okay? With this third party situation that was going on. But this caused some type of conflict or defeat here. Okay? This has caused a major disruption in some type of way. I feel like somebody's conscious is like... Um, Getting the best of them in this situation here. Okay. Perhaps you cut these persons off. You're no longer in dealings or communication with these persons here. Okay. Mm -mm. So for the sake of seeing, let me just see. Spirit, what 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 was the relation between um this earth sign and this air sign, please. What was the relation? Mm. 
Damn, I see a pole hustler swear he pimping. Come and go. What? This is weird. I see heartache and heartbreak here. Spirit, what 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 else? Um What else happened between this this earth sign and this um, air sign? Somebody, somebody's a player. Somebody's a serial cheater. This is a sugar daddy, sugar baby type of relationship or something. What? <laughs> Spirit, um, mm -mm. so I see codependent lovers, family, friends. Spirit, what else? Anything else with the situation? see trickster here somebody uh, somebody is a money hungry gold digger here if this person worked against you with somebody close to you or something it's because this person is a money hungry gold digger like they did it for the money it say, can we be friends with benefits? So it was a friends with benefits situation. Mm -hmm. Spirit, any other messages? Somebody may have been a side piece to someone. Okay, so we got ops being paid to act like they like, love, or interested in you. Okay, so one of these persons may have been somebody that you were like um, friends with or in a relationship with. They were being paid. To act like they liked you or loved you or was interested in you this person was also having sex with somebody close to you possibly a family member who could have been paying them oh this person is a gang stalker a gaslighter a crisis actor this person is fake phony fraudulent love this person was a fake phony fraudulent lover to you they was uh, there was an op the whole time you were with this person they were an op who was being paid to act like they liked loved or was interested in you they were only doing it for the money mm -hmm. <laughs> well spirit any other messages i kept on seeing something gay for pay I kept on saying gay for pay. Somebody is gay for pay. If you... Shit. Somebody is gay for pay. So, like, check this out. If you... So, let me say. Okay, look. If you are a lesbian, or you were a lesbian, or like, you were your, your ex was like somebody of the same sex, this person could have been paid... To pay like, uh, play like they were gay. To be in a gay relationship with you, or a lesbian relationship with you, but they they didn't even like you, love you. They wasn't even interested in you like that. Like you might not even been this person type or something like that. They were screwing somebody else and being paid by somebody else the whole time they was with you. Um, if if you were with if you you were. If you're, oh God, I can't even hardly get it out. If your ex was a man, he could be gay for pay. So he could be like, 
still the same thing. He was being paid to act like he wanted to be with you. He's a gang stalker. He was gaslighting you the whole relationship. He was paid to be in a relationship with you. But he was whoever was paying him, somebody in your family or something. He was also having sex with this person. If, if your ex is a masculine, the person that was paying him and he was, and the reason why he's coming as gay for pay is because the masculine in your family that he was having sex with and being paid by was a man too. But like if, if you were a lesbian and your ex was a girl, she's actually gay for pay. Which means you may have not have known that she's actually in two dudes. Like this may be a side of her that she hid from you. And whoever was paying her in your family that she was having sex with is a man. Child, look. Mm -mm. Spirit, are there any other messages? <laughs> are there any other messages? I see messed up and got a side piece pregnant. Somebody might have, if your ex was a girl, this person might have gotten pregnant. This person probably terminated the pregnancy though. So any of the messages pertaining to these two people, this this uh, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, and this air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Mm-mm. What the hell? There could have been some type of threesome and orgy parties going on or something. What the hell? Fun parties or something. I see home wrecker here. Happy whole side feats. Wow. <laughs> This person was essentially a prostitute, though. They were being paid for, whether they was being paid to work against you, paid for sex or whatever. I keep seeing gay for pay. Somebody is gay for pay. Either your family member's gay for pay or your ex is, is, is gay for pay. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to keep it moving right now. Okay, that was the situation between them. I even see rape here. They first time this person could have. They first time this person could have raped him. I don't know. This is getting weird here. Something about a sex ring and some more shit. Okay. Um. Wow, okay. So let's see. Uh, Spirit, are there any other messages here, okay, about what was going on in the shadows? About, um, so we have here our car, a house, inheritance money was stolen from you by those closest to you, okay? This could have something to do with um, something that was going on. I also see stolen identity here. So something was done to steal your identity. This was all done out of greed, Spirit is saying. Are there any other messages, Spirit? Any other messages? I see somebody turned their back on you. Um, th these people involved in this situation could have turned their back on you in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. Okay, Spirit, any other messages? They were definitely having some type of dark parties or something that was going on. We have inside job here. Something was an inside job to, to work against you, to steal something from you. <clears throat> okay, 
Spirit, what else is going on here? Somebody was definitely moving in silence. Spirit say, listen to your intuition as it relates to the situation. You can't trust anybody. Somebody, ooh, somebody's got ties to some human trafficking and some type of betrayal. Somebody could have even been trying to set you. Somebody could have even been paid to try to set you or your child up to be trafficked. What? They were trying to get somebody abducted and trafficked? It's always the devil in disguise, Spirit is saying. Mm, mm, mm. This is just too much, honey. I didn't know. All of this is going to come out here. <laughs> Spirit, what's going on? What else is going on? So I see blood sacrificing family lovers and friends for money. That's sitting here with inside job. Share any other messages? Significant to some type of um, cabin by the lake or something. These people are all up in your business. People were spying on you, evil doers in disguise here. So, what else is going on? So I feel like something, I feel like the more, I'm just getting extra messages here, guys. We've gotten the overall energy of what is happening here, okay? I feel like <laughs> something may be eating at someone's conscience here, okay? And somebody has contemplated, I feel like for a long time, they've gone within and contemplated for a long time um about taking some type of leap of faith coming towards you to tell you some type of truth or clarity i honestly don't feel like this person would tell you everything i don't feel like they would tell you all the truth or the clarity but i feel like what they do want to tell you is what has been disclosed here okay this person wants to tell you some type of truth about this king of swords here this aquarius liver gemini okay but this information is it's gonna be heartbreaking with the ace of with the ace of uh, cups coupled with the three of swords. It's definitely going to be heartbreaking. Sad. Okay, this has to do with your daddy's side of the family. Spirit is seeing and money here. I also see something about a lawyer here. Yeah. This person saw they sold to the devil. They attached to this devil here. This with this devil being here and this earth sign here, this person could be a Capricorn. They don't necessarily have to be, but somebody's definitely an air sign. I mean a, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This is the person that was tempted. Okay. To take whatever offer, whatever was being offered to them or whatever. Um, they met up with some, they were meeting with somebody in the shadows behind the scenes, behind closed doors, like in secret here. And they were tempted because of this devil energy. This temptation card is like the devil card as well. So technically you got two devil cards here. And it's all coupled here with this earth sign here. So that's why I said this person is probably a Capricorn here. This king of swords whose passion was ignited in some type of way for this person um, is an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay. Yeah. So um, somebody was also being paid to secretly spy on you. Somebody was a secret spy. 
Somebody was also paid to steal things from you. This is how they got away with stealing your ID. So like if your wallet or something ever came up missing around this person, any personal objects of yours or anything, this person was taking them. Mm -mm. They're working against you and try to set you up. I just seen the, um, yeah, family disloyalty and betrayal here. Jealousy, envy, hate. Wow. So, yeah, that's the energy, guys. That is wild. That is seriously wild, okay? Um, whoever this, um, mm -mm. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just leave that at that, okay? That's what's going on here, guys. So I do hope that this is giving you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you may be dealing with. Um, you had a lover, possibly a friend for some of you all, who was being paid to either be your friend or to be your lover. This person was a paid op. They were also a gang stalker. They were gaslighting you the entire time. They wasn't even attracted to you. They didn't like you. They didn't love you. They were being paid to be with you. Um, this person is also gay for pay or something like that. Um, they were being paid to have sex with someone, paid to work against you, paid to set you up, paid to th steal things from you. Um, yeah. Whoever that they linked up with or hooked up with, they're, they're on your dad's side of the family. This is all for greed. This is all for money. This is all in an effort to steal something from you um, that was rightfully yours. This person was uh, paid to spy on you and different things. It was a whole inside job, Spirit is saying here. Okay. So, um, yeah, honey. I guess... <clears throat> So I hope this gave you all the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you may be dealing with. Look, I'm seeing it again. Look at that. Family issues. Stolen identity. The tea. Gossip. Rumors. The latest scandal. Mm -mm. The high priestess card. There's a whole lot of shit that is hidden, that is secret. Secret knowledge, secret information. A lot of things that's secret, that's hidden, that could possibly be covered up or being covered up in some type of way. Definitely something going on with some type of legal situations here. With the, but with the secret hidden treasure islands card here, some type of truth or clarity has come out pertaining to something that was supposed to be secret or hidden. Something pertaining to some type of illegal activities. Um... This card speaks to a lot of different things. I have the Ace of Swords and the Moon card on this card here. But, I mean, there's some truth and clarity that has come out about a lot of things that was supposed to be a secret hidden or cover up in some type of way here, okay? So we have karmics here. This sits here on family issues. You've probably dealt with a whole lot of trauma and drama and fighting. You were left out in the cold. You had a lack of support by your family. There's been nothing but lies, deception, no love. Um, these people mistreated you. They abandoned you. They neglected you. They left you out in the cold. You were the black sheep of the family. These individuals are karmic. They're manipulative, deceiving. They're full of drama. They're two-faced. They're codependent. They're childish. They're haters. They're demonic and demonically possessed. They're emotional abusers. They're annoying. Um, some may be mentally ill, they're habitual liars, they're bullies, they're backstabbers, they have bad attitudes, they're aggressive, they're lazy, crazy, so anxious, ignorant, no love, mean, evil, wicked, heartbreakers, okay? So we got the three of swords here, okay? These people could have broke your heart, okay? Um, they could have caused you heartache, heartbreak, disappointment, loss, um, betrayals, misery, pain, okay? Um, you may be aware of what I'm telling you here. You might be a light worker. You could be a seer, a high priestess yourself, a revolutionary, a visionary. Um, somebody could be a tarot reader, a sp spiritualist, a healer, um, a prophetess, okay? Empath, psychic, empress, intuitive, even, okay? But there's a lot of gossip going around here, okay? And all eyes is on you here, okay? 
there's a lot of people aware of these secret hidden things that's been going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back. Haters could be giving you dirty looks. They're stalking. They're staring. They're all up in your business. They're sending you the evil eye. Okay, and you're not wanting to be bothered by these nosy as annoying people who's throwing shade at you, uh, which is interesting how you could be being the one that's being attacked and done wrong, but people have the audacity to be throwing shade on you. It, it, it's a trip, okay? But, um, yeah, these people are on watch or surveillancing you and all this other kind of shit, okay? You, you literally got a whole shitload of people, a whole family that stabbed you in the back, working against you. You got an ex who was a paid fucking op who was screwing somebody in your family and being paid the whole time you was with them for screwing someone else and working against you. But these people got the audacity to be throwing shade at you, <laughs> attacking you. Like, stop it. Stop it. Be for real. Be for real, okay? Yeah, this is all about money-hungry gold diggers here, okay? Bribes, greed, all of that here, okay? There's a whole lot of secret hidden things that's been done behind the scenes. A lot of criminal activity as it relates to this family card here uh, with the Ten of Cups here, as well as un uh, suspicious deaths that have taken place here, okay? Yeah, these people are chained to the devil. They sold they sold to the devil. They could be a part of some type of cult, coven, or secret societies of some kind, Okay? Yeah, spirit is telling you to keep your distance, okay? Stay away from the enemy, okay? When these people, when people show you who they really are, believe them, you need to choose your friends, your family, and your lovers wisely, okay? Because these people are ops, okay? Stay away um, from those who don't serve your highest good or have your best interest at heart here, okay? Spirit is saying. We got this air sign here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, if, 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 if this death, if the death occurred with this person, with this air sign person, when this person went into the hospital, they went into a hospital due to an overdose. This person was purposely given some type of overdose of something, which is why they went into the hospital. Just in case you, um, needed to know that. So we have here, they hate you, worked against you, set you up, targeted you, betrayed you, sabotaged you, and was disloyal to you. Somebody even had the nerve to uh, not only have a target on your back, but money on your head as well. Here, somebody could even have a fraudulent insurance policy out on you. Okay. So are there any other messages? Somebody is a cold-blooded killer. Somebody is a cold-blooded killer. Somebody in your family or somebody close to you is a cold-blooded killer, killer. And this person was used to give this air sign the overdose of whatever drugs it was. Whether this is a medicine that they were prescribed and supposed to take or this was some other drug. This person was overdosed with something on purpose, which is what sent them to the hospital here, okay? So with the world card here, there's been something has gone full cycle. There's been a completion of something. Something has come to an end. A major tower um, has happened, okay? Um, with the Wi-Fi card here, somebody could be tapping into your Wi-Fi here. They're hacking you, tracking you, tapping you, stalking you. They're using illegal technology, artificial intelligence. The ops are watching. They're remotely monitoring you, hidden cameras, spyware. Um, they're illegally harassing you and spying on you, okay? This is illegal surveillance 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We got this Earth sign here again, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Okay. I also see fire sign energy here, such as Aries or Leo that could be possibly involved in the situation here. I also see with the witchy twitchy card here, there's some heavy spell work that is being done. Some of, these people are definitely into the dark arts, blood sacrifices, rituals, evil eyes, love spells, sinister energy, black magic, witchcraft, spells, curses, hexes, root work, sex magic, a lot of evil shit. Wicked witches could even be in your family or someone that you've been close to. These people belong to witch covens and cults and um, they're into devil worship, Satanism, and even secret society here, okay? Um, this is all for the love of money here with the will of fortune here that they wanted to turn in their favor, okay? This could be someone that you had a bad toxic romance with that betrayed you in this type of way, okay? With the high priestess being here, um, this somebody is a, a, a dark priestess 
sorcerer. Somebody is bewitched. Secret information, secret knowledge, occultic knowledge, classified operations, authorities, elites, higher power, secret societies here. There could be even persons in power or authority involved in the setup. Yeah. A lot of other people are beginning to come out here. We got scorpion energy here. Somebody who's a Scorpio. Uh, water sign, very sneaky, two faces, super freak, playa, snitch, backstabber. Um, this person is likely bisexual. This person is shady, a con artist. They're open minded sexually. Um, they're an emotional manipulator as well here, okay? Um, we have these people are all partners in crime, okay? Obviously, air sign. Earth sign, fire sign, scorpion. These people, many of these people were partners in crimes, scheming, conning, manipulators, plot and planning. They're cold blooded. They're part of some type of this major crime, mob, criminal activity, low down, dirty, deception type of individuals here, okay? And they foolishly took a leap of faith. They clearly and recklessly are living, being silly, stupidity, blindly taking leaps of faith. Some may even have low IQs, unreliable type of individuals who make bad decisions, acting a fool, being foolish, having richly behavior, childish or ignorant in some type of way. Uh, someone could be a fast food worker. This person is accident prone. This person may even hurt themselves on purpose or attention. Um, this person may have some type of hidden illness. This person is a gossiper, childish, foolish, full of drama. It could be a stoner. They may sometimes appear to be spaced out or a daydreamer or come off as weird in some type of way. We got targeted individual here, okay? Surveillance, invasion, harassment, stalking, discrimination, isolation, remote neuromonitoring, illegal technology, neurologistic programming, directed energy weapons, hacking, um, voice to skull, or illegal technology to use to uh, simulate uh, telepathic communication through the brain waves, hate, tracking, violations. This is what's going on here, y'all. This is what is happening. Okay. I also see here, pick your poison here. Okay. So this has got a lot of things on here from prostitution, sex, drugs, alcohol, money, partying, violence, porn, dealing, lying, hitting, licks, stealing, killing, cheating, loan sharking, scamming, scamming, gambling. There's a lot here. Okay. That these people obviously partake in. Okay. Yeah, Spirit is saying your life is a movie here, okay? It's a straight-up setup. Your entire life is a lie, okay? It's staged events. The ops and the sellouts are all around you. You're living the real-life Truman Show. Okay, guys? So that concludes this reading, okay? I hope it gave you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking. Till the next time, guys, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Remember, if you would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who's interested in donating to the channel, you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tiffdiamond36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamond guys as always take care of yourselves take care of each other but most of all take care of your baby sonny remember this is a wicked wicked world that we live in there's wickedness in high places and there's evil that is lurking around each and every corner even in a neighborhood near you so you'll watch your surroundings watch the company you keep watch surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well and consider the fact that you never know when someone may betray you backstab you try to hurt you or harm you honey keep you some protection on you y'all stay awake stay aware stay vigilant and stay prepared because if you stay ready you ain't gotta get ready baby till the next time peace love and light namaste i am that i am created in the image of god